On day three of the trial for Trooper Brian North, jurors got a close look at multiple videos taken from the body cams of officers the day Mubarak Suleiman was killed. North is facing a manslaughter charge in connection to the 19-year-old's death. Fox 61's Julie LeBlanc has the latest. Tonight, we're hearing from the handful of police officers and troopers who responded the night Mubarak Suleiman was killed. And we're also getting a first-hand look at their body camera video. Multiple video clips taken from January 15, 2020, the day 19-year-old Mubarak Suleiman was shot and killed after being chased by troopers. Left lane, passing 40, speeds 80. Initially, troopers were on I-95 South trying to stop Suleiman in a stolen car unsuccessfully. Prosecutors playing the dispatch call. Troopers followed Suleiman onto Campbell Ave in West Haven where he crashed into another car coming to a stop under the overpass. I heard sirens that were getting louder and closer. Jody Longley was pulled over that night watching it all play out, her eyes on Suleiman in the driver's seat of the car. I just saw him sitting there. And then, like I said, there's a lot of commotion. Everything happened in, in, in a matter of seconds. I can't make out what anybody was saying. There was a bunch of just yelling. Okay. And honestly, in the, when I was looking, but like I said, everything happened quickly. I didn't see any movement. Seen in the body camera video, Trooper North goes to the driver's side window of Suleiman's car with his gun drawn, while another trooper goes to the passenger side. All as a West Haven officer breaks the passenger side window. <laughs> For a moment, North asked the other trooper to use a non-lethal weapon. Jackson, go to Taser! Taser! Moments later, Trooper Jackson says he saw Suleiman reach for a knife. That's when North shot him. Trooper Jackson recalling it all in court. He was holding it, you know, had it in his hand at the, I guess you call it the grip of the knife, and he was moving it in a very threatening and aggressive manner as if he was planning to do something with that knife. Inspector General Robert Devlin Jr. questioning that so-called aggressive movement. He's turning to the driver's side of the vehicle, correct? He is making a, a motion. Toward Trooper North, not toward you. The defense following with this. Someone could have been hurt with that knife. Correct. You could have been hurt with that knife. Correct. You could have been killed with that knife. Correct. At the end of the day, the inspector general and the prosecutor in this case saying he plans to rest tomorrow. As for the defense, they hope to call their first witness on Friday. Now, we will also find out tomorrow if Trooper Brian North plans to take the stand. We are in Milford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.